All right, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, drill 3.4 may be a little bit typical for you all if you are not able to get uh, the idea of this region which is given here. So, this problem specifically tells us, asks us to calculate the total electric flux leaving the cubical surface formed by the six planes. Okay, total electric flux leaving, total electric flux leaving, total electric flux leaving the cubical surface formed by the six planes and the planes are x, y and z equals plus minus 5. If the charge distribution is a point charge in part A. A point charge Q three point four sorry two point charges not a point charge two point charges uh, point one microcoulomb and one upon seven microcoulomb point one microcoulomb let me call it Q one Q two is one upon seven microcoulomb and the locations are also given to us um, at um, 1 minus 2 and 3 and this one at uh, minus 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 2 minus 2 minus 1 2 minus 2 and 1 minus 2 3 okay uh, in part b the charge distribution is given to us to be a line charge Uniform line charge of pi microcoulomb, pi microcoulomb per meters at intersection of x equals minus 2 and y equals 3. Definitely, this line charge is going to be parallel to z axis. Z axis. Uh, in part c, we are asked to find a uniform surface charge sorry uh, we are not asked to find uniform char surface charge rather the charge distribution is given to us uh, to be a surface uniform surface charge of 0.1 microcoulombs per meter square and this is located at y equals to 3x okay so uh, if the ch uh, if charge distribution is this or this or this in that case we'll have to we have to find a total flux leaving uh, this surface so this surface is not that difficult to draw you can write it like this x equals to 5 x equals to minus 5 y equals to 5 y equals to minus 5 z equals to 5 z equals to minus 5 so tendensely we can write it in an abridged manner short form like this so now you should all know that this is nothing but a cube okay a cube uh, should I draw the the excess no I don't need to draw that so this cube okay So the top surface is z equals to 5, the bottom surface is z equals minus 5, the surface on the right, the surface on the right is that should be y equals to 5, the surface on the left should be y equals to minus 5 and the front one is x equals 5 and the back one is x equals to minus 5. So this is the uh, surface through which the flux total flux uh, which is crossing meaning which is coming out we should uh, total crossing not coming out or going in total flux crossing uh, should be found out okay we have to calculate that so the total flux which is crossing the surface is equal to the total charge enclosed by this surface so if you see the part a of the solution is is pretty trivial why because you just have to see that either these coordinates which are associated with the point charges q1 and q2 whether they lie inside or not if they lie inside this box then it means that uh, 
you can you can count that charge so definitely uh, the extent of this box is from uh, in terms of x from minus 5 to plus 5 in terms of y from minus 5 to plus 5 in terms of z from minus 5 to plus 5 so q1 is definitely lying within this box because none of the coordinates exceed 5 value 5 and similarly q2 is uh, in, should be inside this box so the total charge q dot i am writing it as equals to q1 plus q2 is equals to 0.1 micron plus 1 upon 7 micron so whatever the value uh, you get is the total am amount of charge which is enclosed in this box and that would be the same <coughs> amount of flux so it says 243 yeah 242.8 all right so 242.8 uh, nano or 0.243 microns so this is how you'll solve part a and for part b uh, just ignore this charges now and see whether this how much charge is enclosed by this box uh, if the charge distribution is this so definitely z axis uh, this this uh, line charge is parallel to z axis and is at the intersection of x equals to 2 which is which is within this box and y equals to 3 which is in this box so uh, this line charge will be you know going through this box in this fashion parallel to z axis so the uh, the portion which is enclosed let's say the, this mark is at z equals 5 and this mark is at z equals minus 5 so how much is the length which is enclosed within this box this length is 10 this length is 10 whatever the unit may be because the units have not been given to us like meter or centimeter so we'll assume that this is meters okay so this is meters and uh, so uh, 10 meters of length of this line charge is, is enclosed within this box so how much charge is enclosed within this box is nothing but the charge density which is rho n multiplied by 10 meters which is which will be uh, 10 pi i guess yeah 10 pi so this is the total amount of charge within uh, the box so flux we are asked to find flux is equal to total amount of charge which is 10 pi micro coulombs so in part a psi is equals to 0.243 microcoulombs. So let me check the answer. So answer is 31.4 microns, definitely. So part C, which may be a little bit typical for you, for you all. So, so uh, this is the box. Uh, this is this is the uh, sheet of charges which is uh, definitely infinite so we should first see that how where this charge is placed sheet of charges is placed so if i see this situation from the top what i'll get x y and the box will be seen as a square okay y equals to 5 y equals to minus 5 x equals to 5 x equals to minus 5 so on and so forth i am not showing the uh, height of the box all right so y is equals to 3x y equals to 3x is uh, in two dimensions this is a straight line so all right so when x equals to 0 y equals to 0 so definitely this line uh, if uh, x equals is equals to 1 or when x equals to 2 when x is equals to 2 1 2 3 4 5 when x is equals to 2 so uh, when y is equals to 5 when y becomes 5 
when it, see when x becomes 5 y is 15 meaning when x becomes 5 5 y is 15 beyond our area of interest okay but what about when y becomes 5 meaning when y is 5 then how much is x x is 5 upon 3 so when y is 5 so x is 5 upon 3 uh, maybe somewhere here we should not be exact in our drawing so this is y is equal to 3x line so it will carry on like this y is equal to 3x so are we interested in the whole line so along this line is that sheet or you can say that this line is nothing but intersection of this sheet and xy plane or y is or z equals to zero plane okay so if i would introduce height in it so definitely if if this is the box okay uh, so this and this is our usual uh, y axis and x axis and z axis so uh, so the the uh, sheet is somewhat like this okay somewhat like this play somewhat like this as long as we are get, able to get the picture so drawing it exact exactly to the scale to scale is not required so this length is what is this length which is enclosed within the box and height height is already 10 we know that from the previous height is 10 meters so if we are able to find this length this length so we can easily find uh, the area of the sheet which is within this box so once we get the area we will multiply that area by sheet density so we'll able to, we'll be able to find the total charge enclosed within this box so the flux so the only problem remains is to find the length of this line so this point has the coordinates of x was 5 upon 3 and y is 5 and here x is definitely minus 5 upon 3 and y is minus 5 okay so we can find this length because we have got the this length is let me call it l l prime let's say so l prime is nothing but under root uh, 25 3 upon uh, 3 upon 5 upon 3 square meaning 25 upon 9 plus 25 okay so I should better uh, just solve it here 25 divided by 9 plus 25 under root of answer should give me 5.27 5.27 is this length from origin to this line so I should uh, in order to find total length L I should multiply L prime by 2 so multiply by 2 gives me 10.54 so 10.54 meters is this length multiplied by multiplied by 10 is this height so the total area of the sheet is uh, 105.41 meter squared if I multiply this area by this rho s which is 0.1 what I will get I will get 10.54 yes this is the answer so 10.54 uh, I should say that I hope you will see it 
charge our total charge is rho s multiplied by area so rho s is 0.1 microns and area is 105.41 so what you will get uh, you will get 10.54 is the total charge enclosed by this this box which is equals to the phi which is equals to the flux leaving so this is how you will solve drill 3.4